Hello guys, myself Pankita. In this video, we shall see another problem on length code. Largest odd number in string. So you are given a string num representing a large integer. Return the largest valued odd integer as a string that is a non-empty substring of num or an empty string if no odd integer exists. So a substring is a continuous sequence of characters within the string. This is no as no. So if they are given a number, let's say 52. 52 or any other long okay 3542 5, 5, let's take this number so the largest odd integer number with the given digits is 3545 right so which means you have to start from the end of the integer I mean they have given it a string so 6 you have to check whether it is even or odd it is odd so it cannot be even uh, or it, uh, it is even so it cannot be an odd integer so check it move to next no number so 5 is it even or odd how do you get it even or odd you have to do modulus with 2 if it is equal to equal to 1 then it's odd if it is equal to equal to 0 then it's even so in this case this is what we require so this is equal to 1 so this will be the highest or number so yeah this is the way to solve the problem now there are two methods one is they are given a number as a string so we can convert into integer so in java how do we convert into integer so that is integer dot parse int of the given number so this will convert the given string into integer so this inverted comma will be checked out and this will be converted into number just 3, 5, 4, 5, 6. In C++ string to integer of num. This is what we use. S represents string to integer. I represents integer. So this is in Java, this is in string. So once you convert in a string to a given number, so what we can perform? Usually in the palindrome or any other method we have used. 3, 5, 4, 5, 6. Or reversing an integer is the given. So how do we check get the units place number? That is by doing the modulus operation. 35456 modulus 10. So if you do this, that will give you 6. So and the remaining digits how do you give it? By doing the divide operation. 35456 divided by 10. This will give you 3545. This will give you 6. So first, once you get the modulus operation equal to equal to 6 check whether 6 modulus 2 equal to equal to 1 this is not equal to 1 that time you have to check this number and remaining integer you have to take so that is 3 5 4 5 6 by 10 that will give you 3 5 4 5 next again for 3 5 4 5 modulus 10 you have to that will so here 3 5 4 5 modulus 10 will give you 5 by 10 will give you 3, 5, 4. So check 5 modulus 2 equal to equal to 1. Yes, it is equal to 1. So you can stop here. So you need not do this by 10 operation and you will return the answer as 3, 5, 4, 5. So here how do you do number equal to number by 10? If you do that, 3, 5, 4, 5, 6 will be by 10 will give you 3, 5, 4, 5. So that will be uh, go to next iteration. So until number greater than 0 because at last we will have 3, 3 modulus 10 will be 3 but 3 by 10 will give you 0. So at this time you stop the loop. This is one method. So at last once you get the number 3, 5, 4, 5, it is in number but you have to return it as string. So in C++ you just do two string of the number. In Java what you can do? Given number dot two string s in the capital format and bracket so this is how you return the answer as a as in the string format so this is normal approach but without converting into a number string to a number how do you solve within the given string so for that we have the number three five four five six it's in a string format so the length of the string will be five it can be num dot length size also fine size in c++ in, but in c++ dot length also works 
with the bracket. So once I find the length, n equal to length, so we'll start iterate from the back because we need the in space, right? So i equal to n minus 1 will do i greater than equal to 0 and i minus minus all. So inside the follow, now we have to check whether this character i is pointing to the last integer i equal to n minus 1. We have to check 6 modulus 2. So that is, how do we check 6? How do we get 6? So if it is in Java, then num dot character it of character it of i minus if we take this or we will get 6 as a character but we do not need 6 as a character we need it as an integer how do you get if you subtract it with 0 as a reference 6 minus 0 will give you 6 so this will type cast character to integer so 6 minus will give you 6 Similarly, if we do 5 minus 0 here, that will give you 5. So, we have to check num dot character of i minus 0 modulus 2 equal to equal to 1. Is it equal to 1? No, 6 modulus 2 is not equal to 1. So, you skip this. Go to next iteration. i will be equal to n minus 2. I will point here. So, again, 5 minus 0 will be 5. 5 modulus 2 equal to 1. Yes, it is equal to 1. So, you need to return only this much. Time. How do you return? So we have substring function, inbuilt function, right? So we'll use that. How return return num dot substring of from where from zero to i plus one. Why i plus one? Because if I give zero to i, it will exclude i. It will not include the ith position. So that's why to include the ith position, we give i plus 1. So that 0 to i, it will cover up and return the answer. So 0 to i will be till here. 3, 5, 4, 5. i plus 1 will be 6. But excluding i plus 1, it will be i. 3, 5, 4, 5 will be written as the answer. If after all the loops also we do not get this, then what it means? It's an empty string. So return empty string in such case. So here substring in uh, Java in C++ substring this much str that's it so that is zero so here only it will stop we shall code this so first int n equal to num dot length next for int i equal to n minus one i greater than equal to zero i minus minus check if num dot character it of i minus 0. So here we need a bracket. Okay. Modulus 2 equal to equal to 1. If it is equal to 1 then return num dot sub, uh, sub string. So sub string of 0 comma i plus 1 this is the index starting index and index and index but ending index is excluded so you give i plus 1 if it doesn't happen then you return empty string yeah okay so in c plus plus the same code i'll just copy this Num dot length is same. Here instead of num dot character it of i, just give num of i. That works in C plus plus. Then substring stro dot ing. Then everything remains the same. Okay. So we'll submit one of the codes. Yeah, successfully submitted. If you understood the a solution please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel we'll come up with another video next session until then keep running thank you